Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today is the 3rd of October, 2019, and today we're looking at a pen. I don't do too many pen reviews because I don't know why. So, today we're looking at a Lamba 2 3009. And. And this is what it looks like. And the only review that I can find is one done by S.B.R.E. Brown. And I cannot find one for purchase online. I'm sorry. But I wanted to do a review on this pen because it has become one of my everyday carry pens. I carry it everywhere I go and I love it. And here it is. This is the Lombitao 3009 Space Pen. This is a beautiful pen. It's so small. It <clears throat> comes in at... Oh, my, my ruler is not long enough. <clears throat> it comes in at about 9.5 centimeters. Which is about equal to three and three quarters of an inch. And the pen weighs This isn't the fastest thing in the world, is it? It weighs a 17.16 grams. 17.16 grams. Which is not the lightest pen that we've owned. But it is very light. So I am going to take a card from Waski Squirrel. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. I'm going to tell you about the pen. The pen is a Lamba Tau. Three zero zero nine. The ink is Jin Hao. Black. And this is feathering like crazy, so don't pay any attention to the note card. It's an ox it's an Oxford. It's not very good. The 99 cent store stuff was better than this. I can't believe it. Flex. Let's see. No. No flex. Wetness and flow. Very wet. Smear test. Two, three, four, five. Dry after almost five seconds. So, that's good. Reverse writing. I mean, this is already a pretty fine pen, so... <clears throat> Take it for what it's worth. And last but not least, the Pierre Gustafson test. A little bit of skipping right here, but overall, not too bad. All right, let's start in with my journal for the day. Today is October, October 3rd, 2019. Today is... Thursday. And for practicality purposes, I am going to post this pen because it's just really short. That's much better. The pen is... The 
ink. Jin Hao Black. Um, this is yesterday's ink. This is Maryland Orange. I made this by combining orange um, by combining yellow food dye and red and valentine red by Monteverdi. So this is what it looks like on this paper. And I did this with the Fugalong 902 Fugilong Fugui I am so sorry. I totally butchered that. But it came out really nice and it didn't bleed through so that's nice and this is a 1.5 millimeter stub so that gives you an idea of exactly how thick this line is it's very large actually I should write that down let's see um, one Millimeter stub. I have to clean that one out today. All right. Still on the hunt for washi tape. So, let's see. What do I like about the pen? Um, I like that it's compact. I like how it's a pole. I like how you can post it to make it longer. Um, it has an aerometric converter which this is the first aerometric converter I think I've ever used in my whole life so it's new and different I can't tell you if it's better or worse <clears throat> at least till I'm done with today's review of this pen so I will we will come back tomorrow and we will do a review of how this held up for the day. Um, the clip is functional and secure, so that's good. Um, what don't I like about it? I don't like the aerometric converter because you have to tip it upside down in order to fill it and there's basically no way to get a needle that's small enough in here to fill it there's just there's no room no room in there whatsoever for putting any type of syringe or anything you have to use the aerometric converter I'm not a fan of them so far, so I don't know. We'll see how things go. I mean, it does put down good lines, so that's really all that matters for now. I will come back tomorrow and let you know what I think of it tomorrow. As for yesterday's pen, it it was okay. The The grip has this little dip in it that was weird the um the length of the pen is a little long for me but i mean compared to uh your average lamy pen it's it's about 
the same length, maybe a little longer, but it's a little bit heavier than a Lamy. <clears throat> this pin comes in at about... Oops. 26.26 grams. So, it's quite heavier than a Lamy, I'm sure. Um, I like the color of it. Um, sometimes I would run into starvation issues, and this is an aerometric converter. So, I would sometimes have to squeeze the feed, or squeeze the the feet, the, the aerometric converter upside down to get juice to come out, but even then it wouldn't come out sometimes. So it, it it's kind of a difficult situation. You know that when you <clears throat> use a, a regular converter, you could just twist it and it pushes the ink out forcibly. But this one you have to push ink out and or and suck it in in order to equalize the air ink suction in the in the this part there's like a little bubble and you have to equalize the pressure before it can be equalized Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a difficult converter. It's it's new, and it's different, and I'm just not used to it yet. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's a good pen. Wrote very nicely all day long. Didn't have very many hiccups at all. Just right in the beginning when I was starting. Other than that... It's a great pen. I would definitely recommend it if you can find one. This is just so so hard to find this pen and this pen. Let me see the um, clip. Nope, oh, there. Uh, the pen, the clip is not very functional. It's too tight. When you do get it in there, it does work. But it's kind of a hassle to get it in there. I should not have to put a whole lot of effort into using it. No. No, I don't like it. Yeah, the, um, the Lamba towel worked way better putting it in the shirt than this one did. Too tight. Maybe if it was stretched out a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, that's all for my review for right now. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.